What's up, everybody gamers? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I'm gonna be giving you guys some tips on how to play the solo mode in Power League. So, as you guys know, yesterday's video, I pushed to number one in the world in the team game mode. And today, I have been grinding in the solo mode. So, as you can see from my profile, highest team league, Mythic 2. Highest solo mode, it's gonna be Mythic 1 then. So, if we take a look here at the leaderboards, I'm right now number 113 then. So, I had some catching up to do. Because obviously it's hard to get on the leaderboard in both solo and in the team mode. So they're both really grindy. So I would say that I played a decent amount now. So I'm in a spot where I can give my thoughts really well on what I think. And give some good tips on the solo mode. Because it's definitely very different to play the solo mode and to play the team mode. So with that said, let's jump right into the games. Also, if you're not already, make sure you subscribe and use code YD if you want to support the content. Thank you guys very much. Let's jump into the games. All right, guys, here we go for the first game. We have found Butt Drop. And also, I want to say that I just have entered Mythic 1. So if we end up losing this game, I'm probably going to derank. So hopefully we get this here. But for the drafting phase, I almost always am going to be banning roughs. Especially so for playing in the solo mode. Because there is a coin flip in the beginning that decides who gets the first pick. So in this case, they have the first pick. But you can never know what your random teammates are going to pick. So I just want to get uh, roughs out of the way to make sure they don't have it. Um, so here, actually, it's going quite fast, and you can see um, they pick Colette, Piper. I'm sitting with the last pick here, so you're just gonna have to wait out, see what they're gonna be picking. So, with the map being bot drop, it's a very open map. So, some of the best picks always to go, uh, even if it's an open map, pretty much anywhere. Mr. P here, you can see our mate already got uh, his hands on Mr. P, so that's really, really great for us. Um, Mr. P is a solid pick, it's very versatile. If you have the first pick, you definitely want to go for uh, probably Mr. P then. And um, now that we have the last pick, we can more wait it out and make sure we have a good pick to counter them. So it can be more tricky to do, but you can see they have a Penny, a Colette. We have already a Piper in the middle then, so I can go something in the lane here. Maybe a uh, Amber could be good. They haven't picked the Byron then, so probably I'm going to go with Amber here. Let's see. We need a, something to uh, destroy the robot as well and get some damage here. So Amber is going to be my pick. Should be really good here. We have now pick phase, so I already have the, the right stuff I can get you then. So we should be good to go here. Let's see then. So playing with solo, playing with randoms, even if they play uh, with some bad packs, you are still going to just have to wait and see how it goes and play it out. So our number one priority here for this siege game is going to be having first robot for now then. But see if our mates are going to be staying up then. If they don't, then we should still try to stay up then so we can get a good defense here but looks like we will be getting one bolt at least here i'm probably gonna be going down gonna be distracting them a bit though but i will go down here in the end so we got one bolt it's gonna be actually a tie here so now for having the tie we want to make sure we get both so we can have the last drop but then mr p hopefully gonna be close to his turret here he's gonna be going switching side then so we need to make sure we spread out then so we don't give them too much value here let's go on the right side of the map Byron is going to be on me here. They're going to have the Colette dashing up. Then we can have an easy super on him here. Pe Penny turret is up as well here. Let's move up on the lane now. So we can maybe shoot in here. Let's see. Have a lot of shots on the Colette then. So he's going to go down here. They have already 10. We got the kill though. We need to pick up some bolts now. So we can make sure we get the last one. And then we just need to get a good defense. So let's see here. I can put down my super. Surely, surely they're going to be not having too many for the last round. See, he did get one here, but he's going to just get a level 12 robot. Then it's they're not going to have any for the next round here. This means we're guaranteed having the last robot. So as long as we can make sure we have, have a good defense, we're going to be fine here. I'm going to be putting this on fire. Let's wait for the robot to move into the next one. Let's light this on fire as well here. Let's tank a bit for the shots here. Looks like we're going to be having a really good defense then. They have only 10%. And as I said, we already have a guaranteed robot here because we got so many balls that there's no way that they can catch up here. Let's see now. Penny did go down here, so that means we can just move up. Then we're going to have a level 10 robot as well. Just need to make sure we stay up, get a few shots in, and get some damage here. And we had a really good defense, so we should be very much doable here. We have to watch out that they don't go in for damage here. But generally speaking here, we don't really care too much. We just need to make sure we stay alive here, healing up. And they did get a bit of damage here. I'm not sure how they got that, but probably one guy had moved in here. Let's move up on the lane. Robot coming in the right side. That's perfect for us here. They don't have the supers here. Penny shooting in the lane. 
let's pop the gadget now speed up walking from above and yeah we already have this one in the back then that was a really sketchy game though and it's best of three games here we're gonna be moving into the next one so we had a really bad beginning from before i reckon the master p maybe is gonna want to switch sides then so let's see if we can move up from the beginning on the right side here so the bolt spawns on the right side as well here let's just shoot like this way to signal that he should go in this direction and we speed up to get the first bolt here i'll try to attempt that it's probably gonna be hard but if we can just keep alive, stay alive here, we're going to be in a much better spot here than we were from before. So switching up the strategy slightly and trying to signalize stuff to your teammates here. I'm going to be going down then. We do get the first robot here. You can see our Piper was able to pick it up after I died here. So first robot to us. We're going to be having one bolt as well for the next round. They're going to be having probably two bolts for the next round here. But definitely pretty good spot here for us. Piper might be able... Okay, never mind. <laughs> He's dead. Um, well, we might still be able to move in and get some damage here. I'm going to be able to shoot through here and get a lot of damage in. We can even get one kill here. Let's put this down as well. That's a lot of damage. We're kind of just staying in here. I went down for that, but we have so much damage. So now if we can get the second robot or the third one, then it's already going to be a win here. So let's move up in the lane again. Piper stayed in control here and Mr. P as well. So that was really good for them. Let's see if we can shoot here a bit on the turret here and he's gonna be picking up two bolts then so this colight is playing really well here kokashi is a is a known known good player but uh, of course everyone everyone here in this game is gonna be quite good since they have made it this far up but we're gonna be sitting at six for the next round then i'm gonna be just melding through this and then we're just gonna ignoring it healing up we gotta make sure we move up and get maybe a kill or we need still some more bolts before we can make sure we get the last one and it's going to come down to the last robot here but we're looking really strong here we're going to be putting down this fire here let's see we're going to be getting the kill actually really solid here piper sitting on three of the bolts here he might actually go down so it's up to me now to get this kill here he is going to be going down as well then we got one ball off i think that was all we needed messed up he's getting some as well and we already have the lead then so i think we're going to be able to pick up the win here super intense game though um but we should be fine now so you can see i'm already up to a point where the teammates are gonna be uh, really strong you can see my randoms are good the enemies we place against are good but i've been grinding all the day and i'm telling you so many of my teammates they were so bad not knowing what to draft but as long as you just make sure that you pick something that's good you're going to be setting yourself up in a in a good spot where you can possibly carry the team and the thing you need to remember that if you have someone in your team that's really bad they can single-handedly throw the game for you guys but sometimes the other team is gonna have someone who's bad as well and they're gonna like even it out uh, and sometimes they're just gonna completely throw the game on the enemy team so that you're gonna be losing some games when you're playing the solo mode but also some games you're gonna get pretty much just a free win because your enemies is so bad but let's have a look at it here let's see how much we get so we can only a tiny bit then so this is a long grind to get up here but that's the first game of the video then. Let's jump into one more. Alright guys, so we're going to be jumping into another game here. Once again, Siege game. Some assembly required then. I'm going to be the team leader once again here. And looks like they're going to be having the coin flip then. So that means winning the coin flip means that they're going to be having the first pick after this. But playing in solos, either way, I would recommend just getting rid of roughs. Picking roughs as your band if you're the team leader. Um makes the meta very specific so it makes it more easier to pick this brawler that are good and in the beginning like i said before master p is a really solid option uh, and you you want to make sure if you have the first pick make sure you pick the best option make sure you pick the best brawlers because that way you're going to securing that for your own team but also you're going to be making sure that the enemy doesn't doesn't pick that up so my teammates here are going to be picking Jackie Sandy. These two are decent brawlers, but they're not necessarily the best then. So they're leaving them open for possibly the enemy team to pick here. So Master P is still open. You can see Byron is still open. Byron is not necessarily that great here, but Master P is open. Ember is open. They're both really good picks for some assembly required. Stu is open. I'm looking to get my hands on Stu here if I can. Stu is uh, probably the best brawler to pick just uh, across all the game modes then. Uh, he might pick it here. I can imagine though that most of you guys having Stu not that high level, but uh, Stu, Mr. P, Amber, Byron, these brawlers are really good almost everywhere. Also, you can go Sandy, it's quite decent. Um, and I would say that 
Max also can be really versatile and, and used most of the places then, but obviously it comes down to the maps here. Let's pop down the speed here. Jackie surely should be able to get the first one though. I'm going to be moving up on the right side here, seeing if I can pick up the second bolt. So Mr. P here is on me here. I'm going to be dashing up the lane here. We can get the dash back though. Let's see here. We got the bolt. So two bolts for us here. It's going to be spawning one more on my lane here. We can get the kill maybe. Actually, it looks like we're going to be failing that. We're going to be still getting a three level three robot. Then they're going to be having one for the next round here. So Mr. P count us to a bit. So I will be trying to move across seeing uh, if I can get on the M's or if I can get on the BB then. BB especially here, we're going to be counting a lot with Stu. But let's just stay down here and maybe get a few shots in if we can. But then see, make sure we get out and stay in control here. So we're going to be getting a decent amount of damage. If we can get the second robot here, I reckon we can probably finish it. So that should be our goal right now. And if we don't get it, as long as we have a good defense, then we're going to be fine. So we're going to be dashing in here. You can see we're just going to be canceling all the shots then. I'm actually going to be jumping into the, the IKE. So I'm kind of throwing here right now. And it looks like we're only going to be having one ball for the next round. So we're in a really tough spot then. We're going to having to juke one of his dashes here. And then here we go. Dashing in his face. Can we make him drop it? Looks like he already have sent it then. But we're going to be having one ball only for the next round. That is not very good at all. Let's see if we can put the fire down then. So the robot is... Gonna be walking in the fire. Kind of missed that then. Let's see here. Jackie's gonna be moving up. We just need to not worry too much about the defense here. We just need to make sure we move up and get more bolts here. It's a two to two right now. So stash in his face here. He might get at me. We need to make sure we kill him then. I gotta miss a P penguin in my face then. And he's gonna be one shot then. I think we're gonna be starting off with a loss here. Unless we can't make like a perfect defense, but I don't see us getting this this bolt right now. We're gonna be dashing up though. Mm, see here, there's gonna be one bolt down. They're gonna already have seven then. See if we can keep them away from having a level 10 robot and then might have a chance and I'm gonna be kind of failing the super here, but let's see. We're gonna be getting going for the kill now. We're gonna be having one kill at least. That means that we are gonna having a better chance to having a good defense here. Let's see now, we're gonna be having the M's here moving up though. Jackie can definitely tank this quite well. Let's move up in the mess of P here. He's going to be having some dashes in and they already have enough then. We tried our best in, until the end to defend then, but that was not really the cleanest game here. We didn't have enough bolts to have the last round here. I need to make sure that I signify to our teammate that he's going to be going on the opposite side here. So let's make sure that we shoot to show him that he should go on the other lane. He should go on the Master P. Shoot, go on the uh, Master P, go on the Master P. Switch lane, he's not getting it. I'm going to be double stacking this lane though. We can definitely not have... A Mr. P matchup then we should definitely be going on the M's here because M's also counters Jackie then so there's really no point to go on the Mr. P when I counter when we possibly counter this guys and there we go we're having the kill then pretty good pretty good he might bubble me he's gonna be missing that Let's see if we can hit the shots here he's gonna be dashing up here getting it see if we can defend though he's gonna have to dash in his face here gonna be dashing back we did send it though let's see here we're having two to one, so probably we won't have the last, but as long as we can defend here, we're going to be set up to possibly get back in. I'm going to be going again to the left side now. We're having the Sandy Super down. We need to get a kill now to see if we can move in here. He's going to be catching me then. Mm, need to heal up here before we move in. Slash up in the lane. See now. He's going to catch at me again here, that's for sure. We're gonna get BB Bubble then, they're all free on us here. I think our, our team is just losing across the lanes then, and it's hard for us to move up when we already have uh, like lost all the lanes then. So we need to see if we can get some balls for the last round here. Let's see if we can... He's gonna uh, miss the gadget then. He's gonna have the heal though. This is this is definitely terrible to go up in. We can't dash into the M's because he keeps gadgeting us every time we go into that. Um, Jackie here is being pretty bad, pe pretty bad pick, but let's see now. If we can still defend here. Looks like we might have already lost it. Alright guys, so looks like I couldn't carry with Stu then. So that was pretty unfortunate here. You can see they had BB, Master P, M's. We had Sandy, Stu and uh, Jackie then. So in solo mode, you're out of control of what your teammates are going to be picking then. So I definitely would not recommend to go Jackie for sure. Sandy definitely not first pick. Definitely go Master P then. They had the Master P. It's really annoying to go up against then. You can see I lost almost all of my ranking that I gained then from losing this game. And um, that kind of sucks then. If we take a look at the the 
our teammates and we had a gold three so i don't understand how we can match up with a gold three when we are so high up in rank then there's nothing to do about it but um that kind of sucks then we tried our best though and these guys they were all in diamond rank but um yeah, that was it for the video then. You can see we took one win, we took one loss then. You're going to be winning some, you're going to be losing some here. But um, definitely to end off the video then, my best tip is to go with these brawlers. So you want to make sure you have Stu. You either want to have Stu on your team. If you can get your hands on, on this early on, it's really good. It's a really good brawler. Uh, gets countered by Mr. P though. So uh, also I want to say go Mr. P, go... 8 billion some maps can be really good. Some maps with a lot of grass drifts can be good. Don't go any of the brawls that I don't mention. For the most part, they're not going to be great. Max can work really well. Byron is really good. Sandy can work. Don't pick it as the first pick. Go for like Byron, Mr. P. These picks are going to be the, the best ones to start off with. Stu 2 is going to be really good to start off with. Get your hands on Rob or Bandit. Um, make sure you have Amber as well in your team. Can be one really good pick to counter if they have for example pick rosa or tanks so make sure that you get your hands on the best brawlers to start off with or the other teams they're going to be getting them so there is some brawlers that are like okay but you want to make sure if you have the first pick get your hands on the best brawlers to make sure that you get them to you and so the enemy teams don't get it the draft format is so that there's no duplicates so you want to if you have the first pick get the best brawlers so since i'm the team leader here for these two games Unfortunately, I'm going to be sitting with the last pick all the time. There's a, the advantage is if you have the last pick that you're going to be sitting with one brawler that can possibly counter the enemy team. The disadvantage is that if you sit on the last pick and your teammates have picked garbage brawlers, then the enemy team is going to have all really strong brawlers that can be hard to work with. So for Siege, it's one game mode where um, it's going to be definitely hard to move your way back up here. Like you can see, we couldn't move our way back up after we lost control then, especially with the MSP Penguin fighting in our face. Um, but also for all the modes, it's not going to be possible for you to win alone. So don't get disen disencouraged if you lose some games because it's a team game. So the fact that there even is a solo mode is kind of ridiculous. But if you do well, if you follow this tip, if you make sure you always draft the good picks, then you're going to be giving yourself the advantage. In the long run, you're going to be winning more than you're going to be losing. But playing the solo mode, you're going to be playing with a lot of randoms that don't know what they're doing. It's not going to be one way up like you can do in team mode if you have a good team. This is going to be one way where you're going to be going some up, some down, some up. But if you're doing this correctly, if you're doing the draft correctly, then all the time, you're going to be getting up there and you're going to be getting up to the higher ranks. Then once you get into higher ranks, you're going to be playing with some better people. So once you get up there, you're going to be more secure. Then you can see for some reason, I'm still playing with gold three. Then gold three, gold three is, um, yeah, I don't know, really low for my rank then, but it's what what you have to deal with sometimes you can see um took one win took one loss went up went down you guys hopefully learned something from this video if you did make sure you smash like and i hope to see you guys next video bye bye